Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. It is extremely windy today. I don't know if y'all can even hear me over the wind. It is ridiculous. But uh, I'm here in my 2022 Mustang Mach-E and we're gonna do a zero to 100 charging test. I just depleted the battery all the way to zero. I literally uh, coasted into the parking lot. Let me show you a screenshot here. It was like, I'm done. Uh, please find me a charger. So we're gonna go ahead and charge this thing on the fast charger here from zero to 100 and we're gonna see what the charging curve looks like. Now remember this is the select base model so it's not gonna charge as fast as the premium models. I think it goes up to 115 kW on the the base model Ford Mach-E. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in and see how it does. Alright so here we go. We're gonna see if she'll fire up the first time. Open up the charge port here. I guess y'all can see that. I can't see what y'all see. We're gonna flip down the DC pins. Oh, the camera's gonna get in the way. Okay, hopefully that'll work. All right, so we're gonna get this handle here. Plug it in back here in the car. All right, and now we're going to do our RFID card. So I heard a click. The car's clicking. We are ramping up 43%, 43 kW, 71, 78. 110, 111. All right. So that's a pretty good ramp up. Ramped all the way up to 111. Everything seems to be working. I'm going to go ahead and relax for a while. We're already coming off top power at 4%. It's down to 107. Wow, did we already drop to the 80s? We already dropped to 84 kW. Oh my goodness. Our curve is pretty bad, y'all. We are already down to 82 kW. Just take it easy while we wait on this car to charge is what seems like it's gonna be forever. That almost tipped over. This is a bad day. It is so windy, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure you can you can see, oh, the door just hit me. Probably 30 to 40 mile an hour winds, just for no reason, just because it's Oklahoma. Walk outside and you get 40 mile an hour winds on a sunny day. Watching my $400 camera out there just bounce in the wind but uh, something I just thought about sitting here in this car is I'm keeping my foot right there to hold the door open so I don't get it freaking amputated in the wind. But another thing, this station charges by the minute and it's kind of pricey. So 31 cents a minute. So if your car charges slow, like obviously this one is, uh, just looking, we're 84% 84 kW at 15 percent so if your car charges slow like this one they profit more off you um, but you're paying by the minute it doesn't matter how much electricity you suck in it's by the minute so I'm gonna make sure I run my air conditioner and I'm comfortable in here while that's running out there it said will be done at 3.30 on the screen here. Now it says 3.31. I'm like, oh, that's pretty bad, but that's not that bad. But then I realized that's only to 80%.
at 50% at 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and look at some of the numbers here. So we're still receiving about 81 kW from the charger there and 77 of that's making it into the battery. Uh, we can see that we have 35, 36 kilowatt hours in the battery now. Oh my gosh, the wind. This is nuts. Oh my gosh. This is complete nuts. Because of the Francis app error, that just completely screwed my test. I mean, not completely, but that's stupid. The app was set to auto replenish, but it failed to do so. And the uh, charger cut off when I only had 90 cents left in my account. What if I didn't have any cell reception and I only had the RFID card? What, do you, what are you gonna do then? Someone with an RFID card is screwed, Francis. Come on. Uh, anyway, we got $20 loaded back on the account. It is still set to auto replenish, so I hope that works next time. So we are up to 71%, 72. I will check in with y'all at 75%. So here we are at 75%. Let's look here at the numbers live while we're charging. We are down to 66 going in the battery and 70 being requested at 75%. The um, state of charge, obviously 76, just clicked over. We have 53 kilowatt hours in the battery. Over here, let's look at the temperatures. The battery is maintaining right around 95 to 100 degrees and the coolant is 75 so it's actively cooling the inlet area of the battery. I guess that's yeah high voltage battery coolant HVB. It's requesting 163 amps. We are at 387 volts and we have 53.8 kilowatt hours. I'm going to have to check in here at 80% because we just had a massive, oh, I just about lost my camera out there. We just had a massive power drop. It went from saying we'll be to 80% at 337 to 100% at 530. And we dropped all the way to 35 kW. It was... Uh, it was like 70 kW and we just dropped off a ledge. It was like 65 or 70 kW. I wasn't really paying attention and it just dropped off a ledge y'all at 80%. I'm pretty sad about that. I thought they had gotten rid of the huge 80% drop. Now I do know the 80% drop used to go all the way down to 12 kW but Come on, Ford, why such a stair step? Why not a nice smooth curve on the way down? What are you trying to do here to us? We, we need to, we don't want to be here till 5.25 p.m. That's another, it's 3.37 right now. In, a, in my Tesla Model 3, going from zero to 100% takes an hour. Going from 0 to 100% in this Mach-E says it's going to take more than two hours. Maybe even three hours, almost th two, and a, two and a half hours from when I started. 35 kW and now it's down to 34 at 81% is not acceptable, Ford. Come on, it's 2022. You can do better on a charge curve than that. I may stay till 90%. I'm charging by the minute here. That was doing good for me when it was charging quick. But now that it's charging slow, I'm going to owe a... Who knows how much I'm going to owe on this bill. 
I'm only going to 90% because thir- it's that stair step is too much. I can't afford to run this test. I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. There it is, 90%, 3.48 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and unplug. We've been charging for 22 minutes. It just clicked over to 22 from 21 to go from 67 to 90. We're going to go ahead and stop this charging session now. So it seems like we went... Stop. So, charging stop, 22 minutes. 17.7 on that run so it seems like it has a couple cliffs it will go there we go flip that up shut that return this it is slightly warm but it's not hot i would say maybe 105 all right guys here is the final results we can see we started up at about 112 kilowatts and quickly faded down to 80 but we held that 80 for quite some time we had that session error you can see where that spike is there right before the dip uh, it was starting to dip down into the 70s but when i restarted it it went back up to 80 so that ended up helping us out actually uh, besides taking a few minutes of me getting out of my car and restarting the session, it did give us a little extra kilowattage. Is that a word? But then it started uh, dropping off pretty quickly after the 42, 43 minute mark. And then we are just stuck down at 35 kilowatts. So you can see up there in the top corner, I got the times listed. We got to 50% and 25 minutes. That's not that bad. You really wouldn't want to stay past about 55, 56% because that's when it started dipping below 80. You can probably get to the next charger. So if you get in there dead and you charge for 25 minutes, you're going to have 50% of your battery. That is actually not that bad. But keep in mind, I have the short range battery. So 50% for me is not quite as far as 50% for others. So thanks for watching this episode. I really appreciate all the minutes y'all put into my videos. Those minutes equal ad revenue for me. And it helps me keep motivated to doing what I'm doing. Pumping out that content. Because it takes a lot of hours to do this stuff. And... I really appreciate the group of people I have here on my channel watching my stuff with me. So thanks for watching yet another video, and I will see y'all in the next one.